touch on survey control like our friends um, Compass did in the last presentation. Um, we have a preferred method. Um, we, with our mobile mapper, we really like the, uh, the checkerboard like this, and we like to point it um, towards, towards the road to where the tip of it is perpendicular to the road. We, we, it's not catastrophic if control is done in other ways, but we have uh, tested it many ways. And, uh, and, and Trimble as well. And we see the value in setting it up a particular way. So speaking of Trimble, um, some of these screenshots you're seeing in here are based on their experiences and uh, opinion as well. So I've mixed that in as well. Um, some, some other methods, uh, you know, just as we think about aerial acquisition on control, I always leave this slide in here, you know, table method uh, often applies. So that's kind of what I'm showing you here. But Focus on mobile mapping. Um, generally, we're if we if we feel we're having good solution, we'll stretch our control out 1,500 feet um, at times. Uh, but you know, common places we like to do uh, a control point every 500 foot, sometimes a thousand. It just depends on the circumstances of the uh, of the project. But uh, we're certainly always getting at least a check shot. Um, that's what you're seeing here, those validation points every 500 foot. Um, and uh, it, it, it often makes sense to do what we call zipper method if, if it's a narrow enough corridor to where you don't have to set control on both sides, uh, one across from the other. You can kind of zipper your control down the road like that. Because as we all know, um, a couple of things with control. Number one, it can be time consuming um, to some degree, uh, you know, or what I mean to say is obviously we're trying to minimize the amount of time we have to put the boots on the ground and set that control. And for me, a big part of it is also safety. Um, so if I can, if I know I can spread my control out more because the terrain and the project allows that, I'm going to do all I can to keep my surveyors uh, off the side of a road as much as possible. Um, so again, just another example of a control layout. This is one, this one would be for large area mapping, but kind of table method. Um, photo IDs, uh, previous presenter I saw had some great photo ID uh, examples. And we are a, a fan of that, both with aerial drone, um, but also mobile mapping. So we try to use uh, existing markings and uh, other, um, existing features when it makes sense on a project to minimize, again, the amount of effort on the roadside. So TBC uh, has some wonderful, um, wonderful uh, control capabilities. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of uh, the ability to, because we also, we have other software vendors um, to, with our other uh, tools that um, don't quite have the flexibility that TBC does as far as um, being able to look at your control point in three dimensions and overlay the imagery from the ladybug. So a lot of great functionality um, from TBC tying down our data sets. Um, we, like the previous presenter, are big on validation. So this is just an example of uh, steps that are built into our software that we use for our data extraction um, that is giving us a few things. We can, uh, we can validate um, conventional ground truthing shots, GCP type, you know, uh, survey shots against the point cloud like you're seeing here. We can also do it against the, the ultimate DTM, which to me is very important because um, Sometimes I fear that people validate their, their point cloud and, and they check that, but they don't validate their, their DTM at the end and their DTM was not derived properly with enough proper break lines. Um, and, the, and that's really, you know, you need to be checking that. And when you find, uh, and that's what the NSSDA check uh, spreadsheet and processes is, is all about. And so when you find bust in your DTM that don't don't meet your accuracy standards, it's not necessarily that your point cloud's bad, it's that your uh, extraction folks did not derive enough break lines or enough detail to pass the to pass that. 